Hello. <clears throat> oh my god, I can't talk. My first my first uh, sentence is a croak. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Wait, it says waiting for Cindy. Am I live? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome members. I noticed that I had a few or several new members, so if you're new, welcome to the member stream. Let me pop out my chat here because my YouTube chat in OBS once and once again is not working. It's I think it's only worked one time. So let me get the YouTube chat over here so I can see you guys, see what's going on. Um, let's see. Thank you. Hello, well, hello Emma. Hello, Kirsten. William. Carnivore explosion. Um, hello, Rusty Trombone. <laughs> hello, Eva and Sarah and Crystal. What are you talking? What have you been talking about in here, William? Have you been in here causing trouble? Do I need to go back and read what you were saying? <laughs> I've got my coffee here today. This is the Duncan Hazelnut, which does not taste like hazelnut. It just tastes like regular coffee. So I don't know how they can get away with calling it hazelnut, and I'm still upset about that. But I'm drinking it. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Uh, let me see who else is here. Did I get everybody? VM, hello. I think I got everybody. Uh, Patricia, you can't stay. You're at work. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you have a good day at work, though, at least. Um, okay, so sometimes the flavor doesn't come out unless you add sugar. Oh, yeah, I'm not adding sugar. Get, get Cindy a GoFundMe for a dirt bike. I will never ride a dirt bike. And let me tell you why. There's a story. When I was a little girl, I was probably four or five years old. I was at my grandparents' house. And my daddy had a dirt bike. Like a shitty little freaking dirt bike that he used to ride all over the fields. And one day, I was outside watching him ride the dirt bike through the field. And he flipped it. It flipped. And he flipped like... Boom, boom. He was like rolling through the fields and he ended up breaking like uh, most of his ribs. He flipped like 11 times, broke most of his ribs. And that traumatized me so badly that I will never, ever get on one of those things ever. That was so scary. Um, he lived. He did live. But it was very traumatic for me to see my parent going through that when I was like four or five years old. It freaked me out so badly and I will never get on a dirt bike. Was beer involved? I'm almost 100% certain it was. And probably other things too. Uh, but still... Never getting on one of those things, ever. <laughs> Just make one coffee flavor and name it a hundred different kinds. Sometimes I think some co some companies do that. Why are Sims 2 pets and the other expansions segregated? What does that mean, Rusty? I don't know what that means. Uh, I think I'm going to DoorDash myself some fancy coffee right now, lol. Too lazy to make myself a boring pot of Folgers. <laughs> I get that. I totally get that. I'm actually going to go, oh, on my shelf, oh, on my shelf, Rusty, oh, that's because these, that's the Sims 2 section over there, over there, right there, that's the Sims 2 section, everything over here is Sims 1, that's Sims 1 stuff, wait, what is that, yeah, yeah, that's all Sims 1, that's for my Sims 2, it's supposed to be separated by my little Care Bear, but it won't, my Care Bear will not sit up and it's driving me crazy, it keeps falling over. You're bleaching your teeth right now so you can't drink coffee. I need, I'm going to do mine tonight because I feel like mine are getting kind of coffee stained lately. Would I ride a Harley? No. I have ridden on a motorcycle though because um, my friend B has a motorcycle. He's always had a motorcycle for like as long as I can remember. And um, I've ridden on it with him, but that's it. He's the only one I trust. I would never get on with anybody else. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's my Sims 2 stuff. And that's my Sims 1 stuff. And then underneath is like other random stuff. You're on Cherry Pepsi Max. Ooh, I hate Pepsi and I hate Cherry. That sounds like the grossest combination of soda ever. <laughs> You're starting a dirt bike fund for Cindy. Okay, but I'm not going to use it to buy a dirt bike. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Bye, Patricia. Glad you could stop by for a second. Have a good day at work. My co This coffee's hot. Jeez. All right. I do not like cherry Coke. I don't like any cherry flavor. I like, I do not like cherries. I don't like any cherry flavor. Nothing cherry. Call myself dirt bike Cindy with the jacket and all the accessories when people ask where the bike is so you don't have one. <laughs> I just like to dress as if I ride a dirt bike. That's my identity now. I don't have a bike. I hate them. <laughs> 
Um, oh, man, dirt bike Cindy. Yeah, that's not who I'm trying to be. Uh, anyway, I've had a very productive morning today. I have been working my ass off today. I got a Sims video edited. I got a vlog almost recorded. I'm going to finish recording the vlog after this. I got part of the members vlog recorded. Um, I've been killing it this morning. I just woke up. I was like, I'm going to do a bunch of work today. I, f I was like, I'm going to do a bunch of work this week. I'm going to make a shitload of content this week. You have your overnight oats in the fridge for tomorrow morning. Oh, yum. I love oatmeal so much. Obviously, I don't eat it, but I love it. And it's one of the foods. It's probably my top food, number one food that I miss the most. When people always ask me, what food do you miss the most when you eat low carb or carnivore? It's oatmeal. Okay? I freaking love peanut butter. I love oatmeal with peanut butter in it. One of my favorite things ever to eat. I will eat it any time of the day, morning, noon, or night, and I miss it. <laughs> you got up and shaved your legs. I did not shave my legs. Um, I shave my legs twice a week. <laughs> the Care Bear doesn't care. I just saw that, William. I shave my legs twice a week on Wednesday and Friday, usually. But that's kind of that's kind of close to get. I think I'm gonna skip the Wednesday. I'm just gonna shave them on Friday. Who the hell cares? Nobody's seeing my legs anyway. <laughs> but I used to shave them on Wednesday and Fridays, and sometimes on Saturday too. Uh, hello, Akasha. Welcome, welcome to the stream. So, what have you guys been up to? I've been working today. You shave yours about twenty times a year. I wish I could go without shaving them, but I just can't stand it when they start to feel like sandpaper and they start to get pokey. I can't stand the way it feels. I gotta shave that shit off. VM says I got a call this morning for my boss to come into work and I was like, really? I'm still sleeping. Oh no. No. Uh, what's the Sims video about? It's about my Sims. Yeah, it's playing with myself. <laughs> it's, playing with it's a short video. It only ended up being like nine minutes long. But anyway, I got something out there for you. And I got plans for another uh, video for a little short series I'm going to do too within the next week or two. And I did say in the video, more Pleasant View's coming, I swear. So hopefully I get around to that. The Sims video is about world hunger. It's not. I'm <laughs> doing what now? Playing with my Sim self. <laughs> hey, Joyce. Yeah, so that's going to go out later this afternoon. After I finish the stream, I have to go to the grocery store, which I'm going to be vlogging. And I have to cook dinner, which I'm also going to be vlogging. And... Then I gotta put, and then I gotta make a thumbnail for The Sims video. It's already done and uploaded, but I just have to make a thumbnail for it. And my shit's crooked as hell. Um, I haven't decided what I'm cooking yet. It's either gonna be, it's oh my god, why? What am I doing? I'm just making it more crooked. It's either oh, I think I'm gonna make bratwurst tonight. It's either bratwurst or chicken thighs, because I've been craving both of those. So I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna get me some bratwurst and some chicken thighs, and some and some breakfast sausage. So I don't know which one I'm going to make yet. And then I'm going to have some, uh, some habanero cheese. You're making chicken thighs for dinner? I freaking love chicken thighs. I like to make them in the air fryer. I like to, you guys have seen me do it. I've done it a couple times. Where I like to put the sauce on it. Marinade. Rub. I don't know what the hell it is. I season it. All right? I season it. And I put it in the air fryer and it's super good. But I, I don't think I'm going to do that today because I like to, when I get the marinade on the chicken, I like to let it sit for a couple hours. So I think today I'm going to do bratwurst. Because I was talking about with somebody the other day, I don't, I was talking to somebody the other day about um, mustard and about how I have Grey Poupon. I was like, I got some Grey Poupon. I'm like, oh yeah, that's the shit. And I was like, you know what? I want some bratwurst with Grey Poupon on it. They're going to be smothered in a delicious sriracha marinade. Ooh, yummy. You're having pork chops, Rusty? I haven't made pork chops in a long time. You're having stroganoff. It's crooked again. Damn it. What am I doing? Sorry, y'all. I don't know. It's hard for me to do it in the camera because everything's backwards. And I, ca I can't understand. I can't understand what's happening. Here, just watch me fiddle with my nose ring. There we go. That's kind of straight. I'm not, I'm never taking it out, William. Never. Never. Just to spite you. No, I'm just kidding. I love my septum ring. Uh, mmm, pork chop is. 
Tomorrow you're doing fajita style pork with peppers, mushrooms, and onions, but do pasta instead of a wrap. Ooh, that sounds really good. Now I'm getting hungry. I did eat. I did eat this morning at like 10:30, but I'm not. I'm trying not to eat until I get back home to cook my brats. You also missed oatmeal the most when you started carnivore, Joyce. Isn't that weird? When I, usually when I tell people, they're like, "Really? Oatmeal? Not potatoes? Not bread?" I'm like, "No, oatmeal. That's what I miss the most." Challenge accepted. Oh, you're making a pork roast in the oven. That sounds good. Yeah, I want brats and I want chicken thighs. I just, I need to change it up a little bit. I've been eating a lot of McDonald's patties lately. Uh, hello, Snickerdoodle. Welcome. And then, yeah, and I'm going to slice up some cheese. I'm going to make myself a nice little, nice little meal tonight. I like, I like peanut butter banana oatmeal. It's so good. I like oatmeal with peanut butter and bananas. Or, actually, my favorite way is oatmeal with peanut butter and blueberries. That's my favorite. And honey. Let's see what you can convince me to buy this time. I know. Oh, also, I got my Ipsy bag. I wanted to do that. I might have to do that in tomorrow's stream. Because I've got, I've already recorded, our tomorrow's vlog. Because I've already recorded so much for today's vlog. I started first thing when I woke up vlogging this morning. And by the time I get dinner done, it's going to be like a full vlog. So maybe I'll do my Ipsy bag tomorrow, which it's a good one this month. I'm really looking forward to it. By the way, did you guys notice I have yellow eyeshadow on? I got yellow eyeshadow. Color of the day is yellow. I think I did a really good job. I think it looks super cute. McDonald's patties are when you are down. No, no, no. I'm not down. I'm not down, William. I swear. I'm up. But I've just been super busy and I haven't wanted to cook. But that's why I'm going tonight to get food. I'm like, okay, Cindy, enough McDonald's patties. You got to cook yourself some food. Your daughter just brought you some coffee. You went off of it a bit of a month ago. It's so, so good. Oh my God, I can never stop coffee. I can never stop my coffee. I'm going to get some more at the grocery store too because I don't really like, I don't love this Dunkin'. I'm going to get some more of my Cameron's Vanilla Hazelnut. That's like my favorite right now. I've been off the cinnamon coffee for a while. I love the cinnamon coffee is my, my, my number one favorite. I don't know. It's tied with hazelnut. I can't decide. I go back and forth. I change my mind. I'll be on the cinnamon for a while and then I'll be on the hazelnut for a while. So I don't know. It changes. With most people, you find the empty liquor bottles. With Cindy, you find the McDonald's wrappers. I know. I know. If you, if you want to know how depressed I am, look in my trash and see how many McDonald's bags are in there. <laughs> But I'm really, I'm not depressed. I'm doing really well. Um, I just was not feeling like cooking. I've been doing other things. Your Ipsy bag is out for delivery. You're so excited. Ooh, I got such a good one this month. Mine's are, Mine was delivered yesterday. You made an omelet this morning and thought about me. Aww. <laughs> I was going to make an omelet this morning, but I just had to, I had too much to do because I was doing the Sims video and the vlog and getting ready for the stream. I'll probably do an omelet tomorrow, though, because I'm going to buy some of that yummy breakfast sausage from the grocery store today that my grocery store makes, if they have any. Sometimes they don't have it by the afternoon. Sometimes they've run out. That shitty big palette I got. Yes, I. this is from the shitty palette. I started to use it a little bit more, and I don't... I mean, it is shitty. It is not the greatest quality compared to my high-quality um, palettes, but it's not that bad for just, like, playing around with colors. And especially if it's just like a day to day where I'm not today where I'm not going out or anything. I'm just going to the grocery store doing a stream. Like I'll use it. You think those shimmers are pressed pigments, although not the best quality? Try applying them with your fingers instead of brushes. Yeah, I think so because they do not apply well with the with the uh, brush. But the ones I use today is just like a regular shimmer and then just a matte. Pressed pigments work better when applied with fingers. Yeah. You made an omelet this morning and you didn't think about me, William. How dare you? I am so offended. <laughs> oh no, your Ikea replacement part is deli delayed as the driver couldn't find your house. That sucks. I hate it when that happens. Uh, Carnivore Explosion says, I tried to find that book you use that tells the color of the day to do with my granddaughter and use candles instead of incense. Where do I find the book? Oh, hold on. I'll get the link for you right here. I'll get the link for you right here because I've got it. Like, right here. I keep it. I keep the link to it because people ask me about it all the time. So, I'm going to put it in the chat. Now, this is an affiliate link. So, if you don't want to use my affiliate link, I put it in the chat. If you purchase it through that link, I'll get, like, a little, like, 5% uh, commission or something. But if you don't want to use that, then 
I'll put the name of it in the chat. And you can just search it. I never want people to feel, like, obligated if they don't want to give me money or something from their purchase. So that's the name of it. Did you look on Beauty Bay? They have so many shadow palettes. No, I've never heard of, uh... Beauty. I've never heard of Beauty Bay. There she goes grifting again for that 5%. I know I'm going to get like 12 cents off every one of those books. Damn. I'm getting rich over here selling the Magical Almanacs. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. It's a really good book. <laughs> You're feeling alive again. <clears throat> Uh, even high quality press pigments apply better with fingers. Yeah. I guess I've never had any before because I was like, what's going on? It won't go on the brush. Uh, you're very welcome. You were just going to suggest Beauty Bay. Okay, let me check it out, y'all. Um, I'm about to order. So remember, I don't know if it was the last stream or the stream before that. Hey, Man of Time, welcome. Uh, we were looking at the, I can't remember the name of the palette we were looking at now. I'm about to order that one. Let me see, but let me see Beauty Bay. Now you guys are got, getting me for the obsessed. Okay. I don't know if I'm obsessed. This is not for me. <laughs> yes, thanks a lot, Snickerdoodle. You're going to convince me to buy high-end makeup. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm already in the market. I'm in the market for a new palette. I want something that has blues and greens and purples. Would be great. Okay, here we go. Palettes. Oh my God, $121. Gee, whew. Oh, okay, I can't spend that much money on it. Okay, that's the 8x42 palette vault. It's $121. No. Okay, they do have more affordable ones. All right, they do have more affordable ones. They have a bright matte for $22.80. Uh, the nails are, are ILNP copper. Copper um, ILNP are my nails this week. Oh my God, they have this Bright Berries Midnight Trio. I really want this. You've been ordering way too much on Amazon. I haven't ordered anything on Amazon in a while. Except for dog food. I get my dog's food on there because it's just easier to order it. And I do the subscribe and save so I get a discount on it. I just shit my pants, yeah. They're extremely pigmented so it's an upfront purchase but worth it in the long run. Yeah, I'm totally down to invest in good palettes like I am. This Bright Berries Midnight 40 42 Trio, I would love to have this. But it, it's got uh, lots of pinks and reds, lots of blues, a little bit of purple, and a little bit of green. Oh, my God. They do have some pricey ones, but they have some that aren't too bad. I've never even heard of this company before, so thank you for telling me about them. Ooh, the Earthy 42 color palette is really nice. All right, I'm going to have to check this out. Now, they have the smaller palettes for $16. That's what I'm talking about, the 16 color ones. <clears throat> you think I should go to Ulta and play with the makeup? I probably should. But I can never be bothered. Uh, thank you, Snickerdoodle. So, yeah, the, uh, the, like, the Earthy 16 color palette or the Midnight 16 color palette, I love both of those. The Midnight is, like, purple and blue, and the Earthy is obviously greens and browns. So, yeah, both of those together would pretty much give me a lot to play with, and it would only be $32. So, I might consider that. I don't need any more pinks. I got plenty of pinks. I do need some red. But, yeah, let me look. I'm going to compare that to the, um, what was I looking at? ColourPop. ColourPop. I'm too popular to go out in public. Yeah, right. I'm actually really glad I'm not. I heard somebody say the other day, this was so good. They were like, what you want to be is rich and anonymous. The worst thing to be is poor and famous. And that is so true. Gothic Beach. Ooh. I gotta check that one out. That sounds good. And I need to get some more uh, smoky colors too because I've just about used up... I've just about used up my... My, um... CoverGirl? Maybelline? Whatever the hell I use. Reds, purples, and greens. Yeah, I like that. I want. I need some reds, purples, greens, blues, and maybe some more smokies. Grays and blacks. Um, but yeah, I've never been recognized in public ever. Because I'm like, I'm, 
I'm a Z-list YouTuber at best. Is there anything lower than Z-list? That's what I am. And I live in a small town in Arkansas, so yeah, I've never been recognized in public. Well, actually, that's not true. I was recognized one time, but I didn't know I was recognized because somebody left a comment on one of my videos saying, I saw you at Maxine's last night and you looked beautiful. And I was like, okay. I don't know if that's creepy or what. So somebody did see me and I was at Maxine's that night and I was looking beautiful. So I really do think they saw me because I didn't tell anybody I was going there. <laughs> I know it was kind of creepy. <laughs> that was creepy. Okay, okay. You guys say think it's creepy. All right. I wasn't sure. <laughs> what is it? Scorpio? Let me check. Let me search for it because I don't see it on here. Scorpio. That's a brush set. Wait, I'm not seeing Scorpio. Nothing came up when I searched for it. Maybe it was a nervous lad just too afraid to approach. I don't think it was a lad. Well, I mean, because I don't have that. My audience is mostly fe female. So, I don't know. It could have been. You're kind of creepy. So, I think, and then, I think that's the only time I've ever been recognized that I know of. Like, people, it's possible people have seen me at concerts and stuff because I always save the concerts I'm going to. I don't see Scorpio. Um, what was the other one you said? Gothic Beach. And you're looking at Beauty Bay, right? No results for Gothic Beach? What the heck? Oh, they didn't have it in the U.S. Yep. Yep. They don't have Gothic Beach either. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Oh, you can search by types of palettes. Look at these smoky palettes. So they have a nine-color smoky palette for 15 bucks. That's all right. Uh, but thank you for looking for me. I appreciate that. Those are perfect for me. Damn. I want to, I want to, my goal is to maybe buy like one new palette every quarter, every like season. Every season I'm going to buy myself one new palette and play around with. That's what I want to do. You think William has a secret crush on Cindy? No, he doesn't. He, William's married. <laughs> Take a look at them through Google and see if you were right. Okay, let me see. Beauty Bay Scorpio. Your oldest is coming home to visit before he deploys. Aww. We know who wants to see Cindy's toes rusty. Come on. You guys gonna get me killed. Let me see. Scorpio eyeshadow. Oh my god, when I go to it, it says it can't be found. Hold on, let me just go to images. Why can't I see it? I, I can't see it anywhere. I don't know. Here, that's a, it keeps showing me the Jeffree Star Scorpio palette, so I don't, I can't find it. Everyone wants to see Cindy's beans. <laughs> I mean, they're weird. You probably don't want to see them. <laughs> oh, that's the one? The Jeffree Star one? Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, those are pretty pretty colors. Ooh, I love the purples in that. The purples are nice. The blues and greens. The red. Yeah, those are really nice colors. I like all of those. Aw, that's so nice, William. William says, I found Cindy from her first My Life is Over and the raw emotion and honesty hooked me. I appreciate you, William. You always give me such wonderful advice. And I do appreciate that very much. I was actually going to read one of your comments on my vlog today. Oh, yeah. I also have to do viewer questions on my vlog today. Damn it. I'm going to be working till like 8 o'clock tonight. But that's okay. I like to work. I got nothing but time. I got nothing but time on my hands now, especially on the weekdays. I work, and I do meditations and affirmations, I work, do my fucking therapy homework. That's my life. Work, working on myself, working on my YouTube. <laughs> You've been watching me since my first vlog, Snickerdoodle? Aw. This is Cindy's group therapy sessions. <laughs> no, please don't ever take my advice. 
You've been hooked since Play the World on Sims. Aww. I followed Cindy for Sims, stayed forever fan when I saw how human you are. I love real raw peeps. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, find some how it's actually available to me. Yes. Two votes for toes is an improvement. <laughs> oh, God. I gotta paint my toenails, too, because it's almost summertime. It's getting, it's getting pretty warm here. It's like, um, today it's going to be 83 degrees. When I took the dogs out earlier, I was like starting to sweat already in the sun. You've been hooked since I had my breakdown since same. Because same. Thank you. I had a public breakdown, but hey. Got, got me some followers, so I guess it's alright. I don't know. <laughs> I don't plan on having any more breakdowns. I'm actually doing really well um, right now. I'm doing really well. Like, you know, I'll still have my, my moments where I feel sad and stuff. But, like, overall, I feel like a general happiness, like a general peace in my soul. I feel, I feel at peace with myself. I don't feel like I'm in turmoil anymore. I don't feel like I'm in just constant conflict with myself anymore. And I think that's a combination of... The EMDR is helping me, my therapist is helping me, and then also just everything that I'm doing on myself to, like, improve my self-image and stuff. I just feel so much more at peace with myself, so much more, like, I love myself now. I do. I truly do. And it's not a feeling I've ever had before. It <laughs> just set me up for greatness, yes. The Be Perfect Stacy Marie Carnival 3 Love Tahiti Palette. Jeez, that is a... Why is it... Why are there so many words? Why are there so many words in that? Be Perfect Carnival? Let me try that. That's on Beauty Bay. Okay, here it is. Content, yeah. I feel content too. Yeah, William, I do. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. That's got, it's got some greens, blue. It doesn't have much blue. It's got a little bit of blue. Some purples and pinks and reds. Yeah, that one's not bad. I don't know. I don't know what, what I want to do here. I like that one. But I, some of the colors in that one I don't think I would ever use. Like, I would never use that, like, neon. Well, I don't know. I might use the neon pink. I lied. Your inner glow up is even more inspiring than your outer glow up. Oh, thank you. Uh, Carnivore says, Cindy just ordered it. We will get it tomorrow. My granddaughter lives with me, so it'll be fun. She is 12. Aw, that will be fun. VM says, I always watched your Pleasant Sims channel. I didn't know you had a second channel until my life is over one, and then I got invested. <laughs> you are so positive even when you're down. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I just decided, like... I used to be so negative. I used to be so negative about stuff. And I used to always think the worst. I used to be such a pessimist. I used to always think the worst about myself and everyone else. Everybody's intentions towards me. I just completely changed my mindset and how I view other people and myself. And it really has changed my life. It really has. Now I try to always see the good. I try to be positive. I try to be grateful for what I have. I try to... I just believe. Oops, shoot. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake you around. I just believe that my life is good and everything's working out for me. And then it happens. <laughs> you have this one. They do it in other colors. Revolution. I heart revolution donut strawberry sprinkles. Wow, that's a... That's something. It's also a lot of words. Why is there so many words? Revolution uh, donut strawberry. I'll just search that. Not as good as the other ones, but the U.S. hates you apparently. Let me see. The I Heart Donuts. Oh yeah, this one is raspberry icing. That's very pink. There's so many. How am I supposed to ever decide? I found your channel after the universe took my life and shook the sheet out of it and dumped the box out and said, put it back together. It's been a journey. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. I get that. I totally get that. Going from miserable all the time to happy is such a hard thing, but it is the single most important transition a person can make. I agree with that, William. I agree with that. I have actually found this, like, 
happiness and joy within myself. And it's wonderful. It's like a wonderful feeling. I know my hair's looking so good. It's doing this like wavy thing today. Look at this. I don't know. It just started doing that. I didn't do anything to it. Um, I think because it's it's very humid here, so my hair, it tends to, like, frizz out a little bit, but also I'm wearing an anti-frizz thing, so now she's doing this, I don't know, I don't know, I like it, I think it looks good today. You're a little skeptical about the price, but it has gotten good reviews. Bye, Mana Time, thank you for stopping by. Your wife just called you and now you have to make the following statement. I am not just married. I am happily married to the most wonderful woman ever. <laughs> I know you are, William. The plush palette has a few good neutral sun blues, greens, and purples. Okay, let me go back. I don't know where I'm at. Plush Beauty Bay. Let me see. The plush palette. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Are we on Beauty Bay still? Because I'm not seeing that. Let me go back. <laughs> yes, good man. All right, let me search for plush. I see blush. Oh, there it is, the plush palette. Oh, yeah, that's got, um, that one's pretty good. That one's got some neutrals. I like the greens and blues. A little bit of purple. It's like I can never just find the perfect one that has everything I want. That's why I like to buy, like, kind of the smaller ones. Um, let's see, palettes. Yeah, you made the change in your personality and thinking and then the perfect person came along. The same will happen to Cindy. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. You found the two perfect ones, but I'm American. Damn it. Damn it. Revolution Coca-Cola eyeshadow palette. Is that red? Um, so I kind of wanted to, to try these out. I kind of wanted to get the earthy 16 color palette and the, and the midnight, where did it go? Midnight 16 color palette. Because that gives me blue, purples, and greens to work with. I think I'm going to get those two and try them out. There's an old song quote, love is out there, but you got to go get it. <laughs> I'm not, though. I'm not going to get it. It's going to come to me. <laughs> I'm not going out. <laughs> I'm not going out to find love. <laughs> and I still know I'll find it eventually. But even if I don't, I'm okay, too. Like, that's where I'm at in my life. Like, I don't even care. I don't even care if I don't. Like, I'm just... And I think that's where you have to be. I think that's how where you have to be to really attract something. Is you just have to not care about it. You just have to completely detach from the outcome of it. And that's where I'm at. I just I honestly do not care. Yeah. I'm just ha I'm just deal I'm just doing my own thing over here. I'm just chilling. Just working on myself and it feels really nice. <laughs> that attitude will attract so many people. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Check out hair tea and gel made with flaxseed so it's healthy for the hair. I might start making it again. My stepmom made it when we were kids. Oh, I will check that out. Anything I can make for my hair, I love that. Snickerdoodle says some of the shimmers I have from them are insane. Really? Yeah, I, I really like those two palettes. And right now they're 20% off, so they're only $16 each. If I don't find love, I will still have my sweet-ass fan base. That's right. That's all the love I need. <laughs> no, actually, my, my own self-love is all the love I need. That's what I've learned. And uh, it's awesome. Not care. Who does that remind me of? Who's it supposed to remind me of? I just want to find the right pair of jeans. I feel that. I feel that. I have two pairs of jeans... But both of them, like, by the end of the day, they're, they all get all baggy. And I do not put them in the dryer, either. And they're old navy. Um, but my skinny je my skinny old navy jeans fit me the best. I really want to get a pair of black jeans. But I'm about to go shopping for my spring and summer clothes. I really want to get a new pair of shorts. People love laid-back people. I know. I used to be so uptight, too. 
I used to be so uptight and difficult, and I'm, I don't think I'm still as bad as I used to be. I pretty much just let go of trying to control everything so, trying to just, you know, control everything so hard. I'm just like, whatever. I'm just, I'm letting go of all resistance to everything. All resistance to my situation, all resistance to my emotions, all resistance to whatever happens. It's just, I'm just letting it flow. And that's made things so much easier for me. Old navy jeans always stretch out like that. That sucks because they fit me so well when I put them on. Uh, applied with a brush, you get a gorgeous, subtle sparkle, but applied with your finger, it's an entire light show. Oh, wow. Squats are good for that jeans issue. Yeah, I mean, I need to... That's so funny that you said that, because I actually mentioned that in my Sims video earlier. I was like, I need to do some squats. <laughs> you'll, you'll see why I'm talking about my ass in the Sims video. I don't know. I don't know if wide leg jeans would be flattering on me. I'm very short, and I feel like they're going to... Don't, I don't know. I haven't worn wide leg, like, wide leg jeans since like 2000, so um, I would try some on. I would try some on and try it out. I would. But they're also not really my style. Wide leg jeans are not really my style. You know what I'm saying? I'd try them. Uptight and difficult because I was unhappy. Yes, that's, that's, that's true. That's definitely true. There's some truth to that. Taoism, I want to tell you my favorite philosophical parable, but it's too long for here. Okay, put it on a video. <laughs> put it on a video comment. Wide leg jeans are flattering on everyone, and you don't mean the goddamn boot cuts. You mean the wide boys. I know what you're saying. Need some Jinkos. I used to have Jinkos when I was a teenager. I had Jinkos. Well, I had off-brand Jinkos, okay? But same thing. The elephant leg, that's what we used to call them. Yeah, I've read some uh, Taoism. Yeah, I have. Uh, it's very helpful. I've watched some videos on it, too. Wide leg ripped jeans with fishnet under. Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to see. I could do maybe baggy, but I'm just, I don't know about wide leg. I, I, I would try it. I would try it. What I want to do for the spring and summer is I want to get some short black, jeans that are like cutoffs and I want to wear fishnets under them. That's what I want to do. Maybe even some like dark denim with a band t-shirt. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea, Snickerdoodle. Man, my wind hand shirt is about like disintegrated. I'm really disappointed in like the um, logo is like almost gone and like unreadable now. So that sucks. I'm gonna have to get a new wind hand shirt. I do not have any tattoos at all, Rusty. I don't have any at all, but I want to get one. Um, but I don't, I can't get them. The only place I can get tattoos right now is like my hand and arm and forearm and my thigh, not thighs, my calves. Because the rest of me is going to get, eventually I'm going to get surgery. You should get a sick ass dragon or something. I have a lot of ideas for tattoos that I want. Need to wash and dry them inside out to help pres preserve the logo. I feel like I do that. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I've only had that shirt for like less than a year. And I have other shirts that I've had for longer that are still in really good shape. So I don't know. Aw, thank you, VM. Thank you for the super chat. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get skin removal surgery, Rusty, because I lost 100 pounds. So I've got like loose skin on my tummy on my arms, and on my thighs that I'm going to have to get removed. But I don't know when that's going to happen because it's it's not something that you can do and, like, recover from by yourself. So I'm going to have to wait until, if I ever get a long-term partner who's willing to help me with recovery, or if I'm able ever rich enough to afford, like, a home care nurse to help me with recovery, um, that'd be the only way I'd be able to get it done because I don't really have anybody else who could come stay with me for weeks and drain my surgery drains. You know what I'm saying? So it might be a while. But I still want to do it. So I don't want to get any tattoos um, on any of the areas where I'm going to get surgery yet. But I am um, planning to start my sleeve at least on the forearm. I want to get sleeves on both arms really is what I would like to do. 
Something Sims related. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a Sims related tattoo, definitely. But you but so I know they put in the drain tubes and stuff, but it's gonna be very difficult. I've seen people, I've watched people's recovery from these things on YouTube, and like it's hard to get up and go to the bathroom. You and if you get your arms done, like you literally can't use your arms for like six weeks. And it's just it's gonna be really difficult to recover from by yourself. Is that surgery covered at all in the U.S.? Um, I have no idea, but I don't have uh, insurance because I work for myself. So, I don't have any kind of health care insurance or anything. And I don't qualify for, like, the state programs. So, anything I get done, I have to pay for myself. You need the skin surgery so badly. Yeah, I do too. But, you know, I'll if I, ever, if I can get it, if it works out that I can get it, it works out. If not, I'm okay, too, without it. Like... I want it, personally, but I can live without it. You found the perfect tattoo artist for your ideas. Problem is she does tour tattooing, which is really expensive. Yeah. Um, that's how my ex-husband's uh, tattoo artist was. If you get the right doctor, they know how to trick the insurance companies into paying for it. Well, I don't have any insurance, so that's not going to help me. Nothing in the U.S. is covered. And it probably wouldn't be covered by insurance. For some people, it could be if it becomes a health issue. Like, if you're getting, like, like if you're getting, like, ulcers and stuff or it's, like, affecting you. But mine isn't that bad. Like, it doesn't really affect me. It's just aesthetic. You're not sure if you can live without it? I mean, I'm living without it right now. But, I, like, I would love to get it done I would love to get it done so then I wouldn't have to wear I could just wear whatever I wanted to and I wouldn't have to worry about the skin and stuff because it's still hard for me to wear jeans and because of the skin on my stomach and stuff so right doctors have to note some complications yeah and with me I don't like I don't have any complications from it it's just I, I don't like the way it looks so I don't know but also, I don't have insurance, so that doesn't matter. Man, this coffee. I needed an afternoon freaking jolt of energy. I ended up having to take a unison last night, and I was, like, super groggy this morning because I haven't taken one in a long time. Irritation, yeah, I guess you could say. I could say I was having irritation, and they'd probably be like, okay. I don't have any discoloration. I don't have any irritation either, really. Snickerdoodle says, I don't know how willing you are to wear shapewear, but if it's something you'd like to try, I've seen some really, really promising ones. Yeah, I have worn shapewear in the past, uh, but I, it's uncomfortable, but I have worn it in the past, but I don't really feel like I need it that much, because when I wear clothes, my skin's not that noticeable. <laughs> Cindy, start making some friends out there so you can get a care team together, Yes. Uh, you're the reason I went on carnivore. I love it. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some carnivore dinner for myself tonight. I am, I'm, I'm thinking about those brats now. I'm like, man, yeah, I really want to make those brats. I gotta go down the store and get some, get some. And then maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll do chicken thighs. What's tomorrow? Thursday? Yeah, tomorrow I'll do chicken thighs. And then Friday, I don't know what I'm gonna do Friday. I might go out to eat on Friday. I haven't decided yet. I've been trying to work up the courage to go to my favorite restaurant by myself. But I haven't worked up the courage yet. I, I do go and eat by myself at the restaurant at Oakland. But nobody... For, it's, it's a completely different experience there. It's like a circus. Nobody cares. But just to like walk into like Don Juan's and be like, Yes, table for one, please. I haven't been able to do it yet. But maybe I will do it on Friday. Screw it. Take myself out on a, on a date. Dinner date. Because what I've been doing is just, like, going out to different, like, venues and stuff where I don't really eat. Cindy making new friends. Do you know CPR? That's the number one requirement for being my friend. Give yourself contact dermatitis and blame the excess skin. <laughs> this is a joke. You're having pork chops, mac and cheese, and green beans. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. It's too bad our governments don't cover it to some extent as an incentive to lose weight. I know. It's a big deal to lose that much weight. Yeah, it really is. 
It really is. Take yourself out on dates. That's how you're going to bump into your future love. Yeah, I have been. I've been taking myself out on a date like every weekend. And um, it's been really nice. I've met a lot of people. I've met a lot of people. I've met some cool people. I've met some weirdos. I met some cool weirdos. You know, I got a soft spot for weirdos. But I've met some creepy weirdos too. I met some creepy weirdos. I met some cool weirdos. Met some really interesting people. That's one thing I love living. I love about living in this in a tourist town is like all kinds of inter interesting people from all over the place come here. But that's but that's also sucks because sometimes when you meet somebody really cool and they're like from another state and it's like, well, I'm ready to break up with myself. <laughs> You're a nurse, but you live in Colorado, not Arkansas. Oh. You love going out to eat yourself, eating at your own pace, thinking solitude. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do it. Maybe I'll vlog it too. Because I've been craving my Don Juans, okay? I've been craving it and I haven't had anybody to go with me. Well, that's not true. I have, but we didn't go there. <laughs> you dropped 120 pounds in one year? Best court fee ever. Oh my god, Rusty. <laughs> then get it, sweetie. Yeah, I will. I could just go pick it up. But it's not the same experience. Doing takeout is not the same experience as eating it in the restaurant when they bring your food to you all sizzly on the plate, on the fajita thing. Because I always get fajitas. So I just get the meat and cheese. And they bring it out all sizzly, like boiling hot on the plate. I love it. You would do a whole bit about dating. I would do a whole bit about dating yourself and being in a restaurant having to switch seats to play both parts. <laughs> I, I would do that. But I feel like that's going to that's gonna make people stare at me. <laughs> Let you quickly fly to Hot Springs. <laughs> yeah, it's cold when you get at home, too. It's not the same. It's never the same. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go there and eat. Fuck it. They're not going to say, no, we're not going to serve you as one person. They'll be like, sure, come sit down. Nobody's going to give a shit. I see people eating by themselves all the time, and I never think twice about it. Nobody cares about you. Like, nobody cares what you're doing. You're the only one who cares. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go on Friday and get myself some Don Juans. So today, brats, tomorrow chicken thighs, Friday Don Juans. I don't know what I'm going to do on Saturday yet. <laughs> I did, I did um, take out from On the Border a couple of weeks ago, and it was so terrible when I got here. It was really bad. Yes, our entire universe does exist between our ears. That is so true. Yep. We, we're the only ones who exist in our own consciousness. Nothing else really matters. You need to go clean your kitchen. So glad I can make this live. I've been so lazy today. Oh, I'm glad you could make it too. Enjoy cleaning your kitchen. I just cleaned mine right before the stream. So I had like 40 minutes from the time I finished editing to the time I had to start the stream. And I was like, I'm going to use this time wisely instead of just play, sitting around fucking off. I am go going to go and clean my kitchen and do my dishes. So I did that and I recorded a members a clip for you while I was doing it. Why does this keep going crooked on me? Like I'm not even touching it. What is the deal? You picked up tacos yesterday and saw an older lady sitting alone eating. I said to myself, if she can do it, Cindy can do it. Damn right, Lisa. I uh, saw an older lady eating by herself the other day, too. When I went out to brunch. brunch. I'm trying to fix this. I'm sorry. Three pounds of ground beef seasoned with chili powder, powder for Saturday and Sunday. See, a lot of people who eat carnivore, they can just eat ground beef. I cannot. I cannot just eat seasoned ground beef. I, I can eat pa hamburger patties with cheese on it. That's different. But just to like cook up the ground beef, like that texture, I just can't do it. But I could make like a, like a burrito bowl kind of thing where I put cheese and sour cream and ground beef and guacamole and maybe a little shredded lettuce. I could do that because I do eat guacamole and I will eat a little bit of lettuce. Yeah, so naturally we think we're the center of everyone else's life. Exactly, William. You're that old lady. <laughs> to many, you think? Yeah, I'm going to become her. I don't give a shit anymore. 
It's raining again. It rains early this morning and it rained yesterday, but now the sun's out here. And you're not even old. Loose meat. I don't like it by itself. It's got to be like in something. Another thing I want to do is a meatsa, which won't be 100% carnivore. It'll be like 80% carnivore because I do put a little low carb sauce on it, but I love a meatsa. I want to make one of those. Maybe I'll make one of those either this weekend or next week. He thought about joining her. She may not have wanted to be joined. Because if I'm going out by myself, I don't want to be joined. I'm like, no, stay away from me. <laughs> you had snow yesterday? Oh my god. It's getting hot here. It's starting to get hot. I should do a live out and about member stream for you. I worry about doing that because of the internet situation. Because I live in a very mountainous area. And I'm worried it's going to constantly be like dipping out and stuff. But I could do it. I could do it at a... I was thinking about doing it at a restaurant. But if I was sitting there talking to you guys at a table by myself, I feel like I would be self-conscious about that. Like, everybody's going to be like, who the hell is she talking to? <clears throat> Damn, if it worked with her, you were going to join me next. <laughs> well, if I saw you, Lisa, I would let you join me. Someone in here is pregnant? Kayla, but I don't think she's here today. Last week you had 30 degrees Celsius and now it's like 3 degrees Celsius. Oh my god. Or what I could do is I could, we could go out and we could go to like my favorite little drive-in place and I could eat in the car with you guys and you could watch me just suck down a disgusting burger patty in real time. Because I know that's what you want to see. <laughs> eat and stare at everyone right in the eye. Yeah. That's a little intimidating. Uh, Cindy, when you lived in your house, did you ever get raccoons or other animals visiting? No, we never had raccoons um, in that house because of where it was. Like, I don't think there were any raccoons around there. We had a lot of squirrels, though. Uh, but I've lived in, in Arkansas, though. You will get, if you live in a house pretty much anywhere, you will get raccoons, possums, squirrels, sometimes fox. Those are animals all out in these woods. Mukbang challenge. Get comfortable making everyone else uncomfortable. I mean, I pretty much am at this point. Do it just to make yourself laugh. Well, not in real life. I met this lady the other night. So in my last vlog when I put the footage of whenever I was at um, seeing the live music. I met this lady, y'all. She was so freaking cool. She was an older lady. And I thought she was like one of the most beautiful people I'd ever seen. She ended up standing like really close to me watching the band. And I had had a few drinks, so I was like, I'm, I'm brave. I'm going to talk to her. And I was like, hey, I hope this is not weird. But I just want to tell you, you are beautiful. And I think you look just like Elizabeth Taylor. And she did. And she was like, oh my god, you just made my night. And then we ended up talking to each other for like an hour. She was awesome. She said that she, she loves to see music, but she comes there with two of her friends. And her friends don't want to see the music. They just want to play the slot machine so she just comes in there by herself and watches the music and I was like so do I man I come here by myself and watch the music too so we just ended up talking and hanging out she was so cool and she was gorgeous too I liked her um I should have asked her if she's gonna come back I could have hung out with her again yeah and it made me feel good because I could tell it made her feel so good to be complimented like but she really was beautiful Drive with your feet out the window. No, Rusty. I will not do that. <laughs> That's how what starts, William. Yeah. She, I just, I liked her so much. She was cool. I, could, I knew she was going to be cool before I started talking to her. Because she was just in there jamming by herself like I was. We, we were dancing. We were having a great time. Oh, you know. You know what? I don't know what you're talking about. Your grandma's cousin used to look like Liz Taylor. I feel cheated knowing that it was in my gene pool. Oh, Cindy's awakening, yeah. Like, I'm telling y'all, I go out and talk to people. I hang out with people. It's fun. I mean, it just be random people like that. Usually, if I go to Oakland, old ladies talk to me. <laughs> They'll, they usually compliment me on my outfits. <laughs> uh, 
I got my coffee warmer here today, so my coffee's not getting cold at least. <laughs> Cindy's awakening. I don't know. I think I I think I'm having sort of an awakening. I'm definitely going through some kind of I'm going through something, y'all. I'm going through some kind of transformation in my life, like spiritually, emotionally. Like I have changed. And I continue to every single day. I just keep working on myself. I just keep working on myself. And it, and my life just keeps getting better and better every day. And I feel really grateful that I have the opportunity to do that now. Even though it can be, it can feel lonely at times. I know this is what I really truly needed. Starts with telling a woman she's beautiful. Then before you know, oh, you meant that kind of awakening. <laughs> You're at Lilith Fair with a butch haircut. No, unfortunately, I am incredibly straight, but I can also appreciate another woman's beauty. You know, I can. But, um, yeah, I'm not, like, attracted to them. <laughs> but I appreciate, I appreciate everyone's beauty. Dirt bike Cindy. <laughs> no, I do not want to be dirt bike Cindy, William. <laughs> Bye. Bye, VM. Gotta go. Husband is home. Bye. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. I've been streaming for about an hour. Um, I've got to go at 3.30. At least by 3.30. Because, I, like I said, I still have to go down to the grocery store. And I want to get there before the after work rush of people get there. You know what I'm saying? Because my little local grocery store, that's where everybody stops on their way home from work to get their milk or whatever. And it's always packed at like 5 o'clock. So I want to get there before then when nobody's there. And get my groceries. I just have a few things to get. Like my meat and my coffee. And I think that's all I really need. I'm back on the Coke Zero. And Diet Coke. But this grocery store does not carry Coke Zero minis. So I have to get Diet Coke minis. I much prefer um, Coke Zero. But Diet Coke's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it if I have to. <laughs> Cindy meat stream from the grocery store. <laughs> I'm going to vlog it, maybe. if there. Sometimes it's hard to film inside there because the employees are always all over the meat section stalking it. And I'm like, damn it, I feel weird like trying to film when there's employees next to me because I'm like, I don't know how they feel about it. I know in like the bigger grocery stores, they don't like you to stream. I've been asked to leave a I've been asked to stop filming in a grocery store before. So that kind of, that always, now I'm always like so nervous it's going to happen again. The employees have seen me filming in my gro local grocery store though and they've never said anything, but... I don't know. It makes me nervous, so I try to only, like, film when there's nobody around. But, yeah, I need meat and coffee. I don't think I need anything else. Maybe, and maybe I'll grab some more Diet Cokes while I'm there. Meat, coffee, and Diet Coke. That's my, that's my entire diet right there. I'm just summed up. A little, a little bit of cheese and eggs, but I've got eggs and cheese. And then also I have to get the uh, Sims video published too. And finish my vlog. I feel like there was something else I was going to do today. I was going to post on Instagram or something. I was going to post on my social media. I was going to try to. Another streamer is thinking of changing her channel's direction. I told her to check you out for four minutes. <laughs> don't, ever don't ever take advice from my channel. <laughs> Oh my god. It's terrible. Um, do you ever eat at a Brazilian steakhouse? It's just endless waves of meat. I've wanted to so badly. We don't have one here. We used to have one in Colorado, but they closed down before I could... Like, they didn't last very long. And we used to have one here, too, that closed down. I don't know. What's, ro what's wrong with people? Why would you not want just endless meat? What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, yeah, so we don't have one in my town or, like, anywhere near here that I could go to. But I have definitely always wanted to go to one. She's wanting to go away from court cases to more of a religious self-help channel. I think you do a great job of that. Oh, yeah, well. I mean, I might do a great job of it, but I don't do, do a great job of getting views for it. So, <laughs> if that's what she wants, don't come here. <laughs> yeah, it is very expensive. That's true, Snickerdoodle. Yeah, and I mean... I feel like we could support it here because, I mean, we have a lot of tourism and stuff and we have a lot of 
like fine dining and in, in uh, expensive restaurants here that do really well. So I don't know. Maybe it was their location, or maybe they just didn't market well. I don't know. I don't know. When you went to one in Nashville, I think the bill ended up over a hundred dollars. Yeah, well, there's tons of restaurants here where two people would be a hundred, hundred, hundred twenty-five bucks. Osaka is our uh, Japanese steakhouse is expensive. We have the Vault. We have Rolando's can be like a hundred bucks depending on what you order. The finest establishment in my city is, I don't know, I'd say it's the Vault. It's definitely the fanciest place I've been to. Um, there might be some fancier places out on Lake Hamilton that I'm not aware of, but to me, it's the vault. Endless squirrel meat? Ew, gross. No, I don't want any freaking squirrel meat. <laughs> I definitely think, we used to have Bella Arte, but that closed down. Um, let me think. It could be Porterhouse, but no, the vault's way better than Porterhouse. Luna Bella. We have a place called Luna Bella. Um, that's out on the water, I think, out on the lake. So that's a fine dining restaurant, but I've never been there. The, the fanciest one I've been to is the vault. And man, that place is awesome. Oh, there's also the Oak Room at Oak Lawn, which I've also never eaten at. It's super fancy. It's like $100 per person type of shit. Um, Yeah. That's pretty much... We got the Vault. We have Luna Bella. We have Via Roma, which is Italian. We have 501 Prime, which is kind of like the Vault, but not as good. Uh, but yeah, we have a couple of uh, fancy, fancy places, and they do really well here. But no, I do not want endless squirrel meat. I do not want any game meat ever. I do want a good steak, though. It's been a while since I've had a good steak need a good steak. <laughs> I want to go back to the vault. That's where I was supposed to go for Valentine's Day. I didn't get to go. <sighs> but yeah, I haven't, uh, I've been out to eat recently, but I went to like a brunch and it was not good. It was not good at all. And it took forever and it was disappointing. But yeah, I'm just going to take myself out. Yes, I get the joke, William. <laughs> My favorite steak at the vault? I don't know. I think I got the ribeye. Pretty sure I got the ribeye. Um, ribeye is my favorite steak. I will always get ribeye if they have it. Yeah, I'll always get ribeye. If I can't get ribeye, I'll get New York Strip. Those are my two favorite, but ribeye is usually the best. What do I think I would have ordered this past time? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I do remember that we got for the appetizer when I went. We got um, the bone marrow and it was so freaking good. Oh my God. It was so good. Um, I'm trying to see the menu here. Dollar Tree steaks? Hell no. I would put that in my mouth. Winter 2024 menu. Is it still considered winter 2024? I don't know. But they do not have... Oh, they don't have the... They don't have the bone marrow on here for winter 2024. Damn it. Why? But they do have a ribeye, a pork chop, lamb sirloin, and petite filet. So I would definitely get the ribeye. And then for a side, I would have gotten uh, the mushroom medley. That's what I got last time. It was so good. And then the probably... Not the Brussels sprouts because they have honey. But I probably would have got the grilled broccolini and not eaten it. I think that's what I did last time. You should go in full goth get up and just order bone marrow extra fresh. <laughs> Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, I want that ribeye. Oh, my God, I want that ribeye. I want it. I'm going to go. go I'm going to go find somebody to take me on a date just so I can get that ribeye. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, I mean, kind of not. But, yes, no, I'm kidding. But they don't have, man, they don't have the bone marrow. That's so disappointing. Because it was so good. 
Arkansas Balinese. Balinese. <laughs> I bet that's good. Dollar Tree steak. That's that's squirrel steaks, is what that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want any squirrel, and I don't want any Dollar Tree steaks. Your wife's grandpa used to eat those Dollar Tree steaks like they were going out of style. Ooh man, I just don't trust it. What is it made out of? What is it made out of? It's got to be like the lowest quality meat that humans can legally buy. Oh, I know, Snickerdoodle. The lawyer, he probably would have taken me to the vault. But I'm, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm not, do I'm not dating somebody just for a vault steak, damn it. I have standards. <laughs> I probably could have got him too, though. I can never order bone marrow. Oh my god, it's so delicious. It is so good. Horse meat? The losers from Oakland. Oh no. It's not all dollar stores sell steak. It's only the dollar stores that sell like the refrigerated foods. And not all of them do. Or at least they didn't used to. I have standards. Your past relationships proves that is a lie. <laughs> I have standards now, damn it. I have standards now. <laughs> I had standards then. I just have higher ones now. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm just not uh, starting today. Starting right now. No, I'm kidding. I just, uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like, feel like dealing with it. I don't feel like dealing with all that shit just for a vault steak. <laughs> yeah, starting right now. Now, now I ran out of stuff to say. All right, bye. See you guys later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll talk to you for a few more minutes. You think you're going to go get steak tonight instead? What about your pork chops? I mean, I would like to go get steak tonight, but I'm getting bratwurst. I'm getting grocery store bratwurst and cooking that shit up. You come in these chats to have fun and escape your problems for a while. Well, good. I'm glad I can provide that environment for you, William. <laughs> I do too. I always have fun chatting with you guys on our win little Wednesday chats. I really do. It's nice to be able to talk to you. I like doing public streams too, but it's like I miss so much stuff in the public streams because the chat goes so fast and everything. Give you pork chops over steak? You can get two pork chops for the price of one steak? Yeah, you can. But two pork chops isn't even as good as one steak. Oh, William. That is just sacrilegious that you just said that. By the time you put the A1 on it, it tastes the same. Get your A1 away from my steak, first of all. I don't need any steak sauce. I want a well-cooked, high-quality ribeye steak with nothing on it except for, like, butter and salt. That's where it's at, my friend. Get your A1 pork chop steaks out of here. <laughs> You have a roast in the crock pot, just finished work, and added some baby red potatoes and carrots to it. Oh, I haven't made a roast in a while either. I need to make a roast, too. Maybe I'll do that, like, on Sunday or Monday. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But, uh, definitely doing brats tonight. Hello, Georgina. Hello to Liverpool. Uh, you're back, VM. <laughs> Glad you can make it back. I'm about to cough. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Hold on. I'll, I'll mute it. I, um, uh, I choked myself on my coffee there for a second. Damn it. I don't know why it keeps going crooked today. I don't understand. Like, I'm not even touching it or anything. It's just sliding around in there. I almost have the whole next week of dinners planned out. I know. I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking ahead because I'm about to go to the grocery store. I should do a live members only roast. Like the Comedy Central roast. <laughs> I don't like the Comedy Central roast. I find those to be very uncomfortable. I don't want to watch people get made fun of. I don't like it. I don't like it. Breathing too hard through one nostril. That's it, Snickerdoodle. I'm sucking it up on one side. Blowing the piercing rounds. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I, uh... 
I don't know what I was about to say. I, I made a transition and then I had nothing to say after it. <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to say. I am going to go get my ears pierced. I'm going to go get my ears pierced uh, hopefully by the end of the month. I'm going to get both of my, I'm going to get two holes each, I think. So you can see that I do have holes in my ears, but they're grown up. So I can't get an earring through that. So I am going to get uh, two, I'm going to get them re-pierced two holes in each lobe. And I'm going to get it done at the same place that I got my nose ring done. But unfortunately, they don't allow um, filming in there. But I'll film like the before and after of it. <laughs> you really are that distracting. I am not gauging my ears, no. I don't want to gauge my ears because if I ever regret it, I, if I ever don't want it anymore, it's too late. They're there. They're done. And I don't want to do that. Nope. I'm just getting regular piercings. Are you going to run a chain from the ear to the nose? God, no. No. I'm not. <laughs> what are my weekend plans? I don't really have any weekend plans yet. The only plan I've made is Friday I'm taking myself out to Don Juan's for uh, fajitas. That's it. That's the only plan I've got so far. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, you shoved a piercing through your grown-up hole and suddenly had pierced ears again. <laughs> I thought about doing that, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and just have this, the pierce, the guy at the piercing studio do, do it because he is such a professional. He did an awesome job on my septum ring. He pierced my septum like where I don't think most people would have been able to do it because he said he, he almost said he wasn't able to do it because of my anatomy of my nose. I just had like the tiniest place that he could pierce through, but he did it. It was just like, he, I didn't feel a thing. And so I'm just like, I want him to do my ears too. Because I know he'll do a good job. That could be a good way to keep the one side level though. Oh my god, no. I'm not doing a chain. Grown up hole had me thinking of something else. William. Shame. Take Morty and Bella in a stroller with me. I know. <laughs> I don't, they would not stay in a stroller when there were people around. Then you wondered why your piercing kept getting infected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I just want to go get mine professionally done. Georgina says I got you a necklace from Amazon a long time ago and it looked really bad when you opened it. The chain is the tiny ball kind as it wasn't supposed to be. What was the net? What was the pendant? I want to get two new holes, though. That'll get me up to six piercings, and then I'll get two or three more, and then I'm done. I'm only going to do two. Oh, my dog food was just delivered. I'm only going to do two in my lobes right now. I may get I may, like I may get one up here eventually, but for now, because it's kind of pricey to go to the piercing studio. It's not like going to the fucking mall and getting your ears pierced at Clear's where it costs $5. Like, it's going to cost like 60 bucks. So, I, I'm probably just going to start with my lobes and then I'll decide what I want to do after that. But I want to wear earrings. Oh, the pink quartz. Yeah, I still have that one. That's one of the ones that I don't think I hung up yet on my, um, that I don't think I hung up on my necklace thing because it's somewhere in my bathroom. I got to find that. But the, see, the chain doesn't matter, Georgina, because um, I can change out the chain and the cord. So that doesn't matter. Get a tragus piercing? I don't want to. If I get anything pierced on my face, it's going to be my labray. I know. Oh, the tragus is not on the face. I know what that is. But I, I think I'm going to get. I think I want to get the LeBray piercing. I don't know. I'm kind of scared of it. I think it's going to hurt like hell. Oh, the tragus is this thing right here. This little, this little bump. That, I think that would hurt like hell. I don't want to get that done. That seems painful. Didn't that one break? No, that's a different, that was my, my, uh, my rose quartz that broke. Let me, I'm going to go look for that today, Georgina, because I know I've got that somewhere. And uh, I would like to wear that too, because my other uh, rose quartz broke. 
snake earrings and they're adorable from TK Maxx. Do you live in a place where it's TK Maxx? It's TJ Maxx here. I think in the UK it's TK Maxx. <laughs> it was a sign. It was a sign. I really think it was, Sniggerdoodle. Yeah, I still have the pawn ticket and I'll go get it out of hot. I don't think they would take a rose quartz at the pawn shop. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'm also getting ready. I'm think I'm gonna I'm wa I'm waiting for Disturbia to have another sale or send me a freaking coupon. I refuse to pay full price. Because they have another dress that I really want to get for spring. You got some stunning crescent moon earrings today, handmade by a girl your age. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I love anything handmade. That's amazing. The moon means so much to me. I adore these. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Oh, my God. They just released new... Ah, they just released new dresses. They just released new dresses at Disturbia. Alert. Alert. Disturbia just released new dresses. And they've got a mini dress. They've got a mini dress. Because I can only wear their mini dresses because I'm five freaking 5'1". Five Okay, but I don't really care for the sleeves on it. It's got like a bow on it. I don't know. The pattern's cute. I don't know. I gotta think about that one. Um, but I just went to Disturbia to see if they were having a sale and I saw that they released new new stuff. You got a pair for your cousin too for her 20th birthday. The moon means so much to her too. Aww. Oh, she's gonna love that. She's gonna love that. Love the slits up the side of your Disturbia dresses only by in the sale. See, I can't ever get any of the slitted ones because I have to buy... I can only buy the mini dresses. They have this fernery button-up corset mini dress. I love the cut of this. This is the same cut as my... The newest dress that I got, but I'm not crazy about the pattern of it. I'm very particular. I wish they would release some new t-shirts and not a t-shirt dress. A t-shirt. They have two new t-shirt dresses that I like, but t-shirt dresses just end up looking so big and baggy on me that I need, it needs to be like an actual t-shirt. So, I don't know. But they do have some cute stuff that I don't have yet that I still want. You're, the, you're not the only one who's convinced by me to buy things. Everyone is my victim. I know. You just want, you just make me want it. <laughs> Now I'm busy looking at Disturbia. I'm sorry. I'm trying to pick out my next dress. I've already picked it out. I'm just trying to find it here. It's, uh... God damn it. Where is it? I've already picked out the one I want. I think it's like Moonsicle or something like that. You can always have a dress shortened by a seamstress. I can, but like, I'm never going to do that. Let's be honest. I'm never going to do it. It's too, it's too much of a pain in the ass. Also, I'm going to get a crop top. I'm going to get a crop top, which I've never in my life bought a crop top before, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it, and I'm buying it from um, Disturbia. Still not finding my dress. They have this really cute crop, crop top that's like a pinnacle, and it says spirit, water, fire, earth, and air on it. I'm thinking about getting that one. What, are we the Rockefellers? Getting our dresses shortened? <laughs> I mean, you, you totally definitely can do it. It's just so much of a pain. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting so I'm getting, new, I'm getting another dress, damn it. I'm getting another dress and I'm getting a crop top. Oh, there's the one I want. Sickle Moon Mini Wrap Dress is what I want. The Sickle Moon Mini Wrap Dress. I like the sleeves because the sleeves cover up my problem areas. So it has it has to meet two criteria for my Disturbia dress. They have to be mini dresses and they have to cover up my arm jiggle. And they have to be in a cut that's flattering to me. So they have a lot of mini dresses, but not all of them will work for me. And I also have to like the pattern, which I don't like all of them. You wonder if Scarlet Darkness will have some dresses I like? Let me see. So there's another shop that I kind of like called Midn The Midnight Hour. But they don't ever have any dresses that I like. Oh yeah, let me check this one out. Let me see. Dresses. 
Oh, this is like LARPing stuff. More gothic style, but very witchy. You have the top and the pattern of the mushroom dress from a sale. Looks great with long black, black skirts. Oh, I bet it does, Georgina. Yeah, I love that pattern, too. Yeah, they have some cute stuff. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the Scarlet Darkness. I don't see anything yet that I would actually wear. <laughs> Some of it's cute, but I don't see anything I would wear so far. Let me see. Um, oh, that's all the dresses. Yeah, I don't like any of the dresses. I mean, some of them I like, but I, wouldn't, I couldn't wear them. Because they're either like sleeveless or something. And I can't do sleeveless until I get my arm surgery. I just feel too uncomfortable. But I'll still keep, I'll still check them out. So far, everything I freaking buy is from Disturbia. They have a really cute uh, skirt. I have a Disturbia skirt, but it's too big for me. Which I've never, I've worn it one time, but it's just feel, it's just too loose. I can't wear it. Maybe I'll sell it on eBay or something. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm trying to think about for spring and summer because I really need clothes for spring and summer. Ooh, check the homewares. I will. I will. I like the Disturbia homewares, too. They don't have a lot, but what they have is cute. Let me see. Oh, they also have... Uh, let me check out their um, necklaces and stuff, too. Oh, my God. That black cat necklace is cute. Yeah, some of the... The jewelry's a bit over the top for me, some of it. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little over the top for me on the jewelry. <laughs> It's cute, though. Have ever shopped at Foxblood? No, I've never heard of Foxblood before. Let me check it out. The embroidered wide leg pants from Disturbia. I haven't... I never look at their pants. I need to go thrifting. Yeah, I'm going to go thrifting soon. I'm going to go thrifting. I'm going to get some Disturbia stuff. And then I want to go to Old Navy and look for shorts. And I would also really like, like, a black mini skirt for spring and summer. I haven't been able to find one yet. I will. I'll take you thrifting, Mary. Yeah. I know how to do a screen share. I just forgot to set it up. Hold on. Let me. I can do it right now, actually. Why am I being so lazy? Why am I being so lazy? Display capture. Um, I already have it set up, actually. Okay. Um, don't look at that. <laughs> Let me set it to my second monitor. All right. So this is what I'm looking at. Fox blood. Oh, this has got some cute stuff. Oh, I like that little black dress right there. Yeah, I got to check this out and see. Let me see. Shop, clothing. Let me look at dresses because I love my dresses. See, the only one I see so far is this one because it has sleeves. I can't do sleeveless, and I can't do long dresses. But hey, even if they had one for me to try, they are cute. Yeah, I saw one dress. Let me see, what else do they have? They have tops. Let's see the tops. Those are cute. But... I don't think I'd wear any of those. Uh, oh, that's plus size. They have plus size, though. That's good, because some shops don't. It used to be really difficult for me to find clothes when I was plus size that I actually liked. Uh, they have a crop, just a regular black crop top. That's nice. It's only 22 bucks. That could go with anything. <clears throat> so, yeah, they have some cute stuff. I have to check out. I lost my chat. I don't know what you guys are saying. There we go. Oh, yeah. I know how. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. I'm definitely going to go thrifting again soon. I don't like to go thrifting on the weekends because it's so busy and it's hard for me to film. So I want to go during the weekday when there's not very many people there. And I got to find out when my thrift store does their sale. But. Even, even without their sale, it's usually pretty good. That's where I got this shirt, this Nikola Tesla shirt that I'm wearing. I got this at the thrift store for like a dollar or 50 cents or something. I mean, it's super cheap. I love thrifting too. And I found, that's where I got my green skirt I wore the other day. That's where I got, um, 
I think those are the only two clothing things. No, that's where I got my red flannel shirt was at the thrift store. Like, you can find some really cute stuff. It used to be harder for me when I was bigger. Um, but now it's easier for me to find stuff. Oh, I also want the Diana Moon Moth mini dress from Disturbia. The Diana Moon Moth mini dress. Yes, I want that one. And the Sickle Moon. I want both of those. I'm going to try to get both of those. I need a sale or a coupon, though. And, oh, let me show it to you. I forgot I can show it to you. Hold on. This right here. Um, I want this dress right here. Look how cute that is. Here's the pattern. Uh, oh, they still have it in my size. Yeah, I want that one. That's so cute. Who would get rid of a Tesla shirt? I don't know. And it was all stained up or like it was all dirty when I bought it. But I just washed it and it was fine. <laughs> yeah, no, Rusty. No. I'm not doing a Cindy open toes shoe shopping stream for my local mall. My local mall is so sad and depressing. I'm also going to do a vlog about it. I'm going to do a vlog about visiting my local dead mall. Because y'all, it is a sight to see. I want to share it with you. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do thrifting. Um, I got a lot of things planned for vlogs that I want to do where we actually leave my freaking apartment, okay? <laughs> I've been doing so. I feel like all my vlogs have just been in my apartment lately, but I'm going to go out and do things, I swear. That dress is adorable. Well, it's not abandoned. There are stores in it, but it feels abandoned because it's so dead. So, yeah, I love abandoned places too, though. Yay, hey, Letha, so glad you're here on spring break from your job. <laughs> shut in, Cindy. I'm not a shut in. I do go out, but it's like, I don't film when I take myself on my dates because to me, that is my time off, you know? To me, that is my time to enjoy myself. I don't want to be, you know, having to worry about filming and, and, and vlogging. I just, I need, you know, at least one or two nights off that I can just go have fun and not work. So that's why I don't film those times. Maybe I, sometimes I'll take a little footage, but... Your middle name is Delia, which is an epithet from Diana, the name on the island where Artemis was born. That's a beautiful name. I like that. I love that, too. Thought about it when you saw the Diana dress. What about Thread Up? They may sponsor you. I feel like it's expensive since it's secondhand. Yeah, I've looked at Thread Up before, and I thought it was not worth it to me. I like your work-life balance boundaries. A lot of YouTubers should follow your advice. I know. If I don't, I will burn out. I've already learned the hard way. Multiple times, I have burned myself out from just constant working. I used to do that on my Sims, on my Sims channel all the time. Um, and I just don't do it anymore. I'm not going to burn myself out anymore. Um, I need time. I need time to myself. And even if it's just like two nights a week, I need time to myself. To be off, you know? Oh, and there's a, so let me show you the other dress I'm going to, I want to get. Let me find it again. I would love to take myself on dates, but feel too out of place surrounded by couples in the city. How do you get over it? I don't know. I just don't give a shit. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't feel weird at all when I go out. So somebody asked me this question. I think it's a question I'm going to answer. Or I already answered. I already answered it in the last vlog. People were like, how, how I want to take myself on dates, but I feel weird. I'm like, I don't know. I just don't feel weird. I go to places that I'm familiar with, first of all. Um, except last weekend I didn't. Last weekend I went somewhere I never went before. And I didn't even care. But I built my confidence up by going to places I'm already familiar with. And places where it's crowded so nobody really pays attention to you. And you can just kind of get your confidence up like going out and being by yourself. And once you get used to it, you realize nobody cares. And uh, it's, I just, I enjoy it now. But like the only thing that I have been nervous about going to do by myself is like going to actually eat inside of a restaurant. Like I'll eat at Oaklawn, but it's different. Um, but like going into like my favorite restaurant, but I'm about to do that this weekend. So anytime I have started to feel uncomfortable about something, oh crap, it's 3.30. Wow, that went by fast. That 30 minutes went by fast. Um, that's my alarm to go take my medication. So anytime that I feel like I'm going to be uncomfortable about doing something, then I just go do it. I'm just, that's what I've started to do. If I feel uncomfortable, I'm like, okay, I need to face this and just fucking get over it. Let's just go do it. Let's get over it. Get out of my comfort zone. And that's what I've been doing, and it's made my life so much better. It's made my life incredible. I'm just doing things out of my comfort zone. 
And then once you do them, you don't have any fear of it anymore. Like, I just let go of all fear. This is what I was talking about in therapy this week, is letting go of fear and resistance. And I just let go of it. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel like that's terrible advice. Like, just don't be that way. But that's really what I did. I just decided I'm not going to be afraid. I'm just, if I, if I feel anxiety about something, that means it's something I need to go do. Going alone is literally a default. You're not just an extension of someone else. That's a good, that's a good point. Because I always felt like I was the extension of somebody else. Yeah. Uh, exposure therapy. Yes, William. Yep, yeah, that's it. Taking a class by yourself is a good first start because you don't have to worry about what you're going to do. Just follow the lesson along. That's a good point. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about taking, talking to people because you're at a class. I took a ballet class alone recently. That's a great idea. I was also thinking about trying to take a local like exercise or yoga class or something in my area. Um, my therapist recommended that I look at the why and I think that's a really good idea because they do have classes and stuff there. The mall isn't even that cheap anymore. The piercing part might be, but the earrings are like $50. Really? Um, Akasha, I was going to answer that question in today's vlog, but I'll go ahead and answer it because somebody asked me. I don't, it might have been you that asked me, but somebody asked me <clears throat> for my questions today. Are you still seeing your old therapist from Colorado or just the new one? I'm just seeing the new one now because she's helping me so much that I don't see the need to see the other one anymore. Yeah, a class might help the mental block of being seen as a loner weirdo. You're not a loner weirdo, though. Literally nobody cares. Nobody thinks you're a loner weirdo at all except for you. And if you believe that about yourself, then that's what you'll come across as. But if you believe that you're just awesome and totally confident and can do whatever you want on your own because you're a badass bitch, then you'll go out there and that's what you'll do. Because that's what I did. I was like, I'm confident. I am awesome. I could go do anything on my own. I'm about to go to this restaurant by myself because I was nervous to do it. So I'm just going to go do it. And then I'm going to feel great because I accomplished that. And I went out on my own. And I know I can do it. I'm not, like, I felt a little nervous about it, but now just planning doing it, I'm like, yeah, I can totally freaking do that. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, me too, Akasha. She's helped me so much. She is, like, the perfect therapist for me. I, I feel so happy that I found her. <laughs> Best part about it in the class is if you hate it, then you never have to come back or see those people again. <laughs> Uh, Snickerdoodle says, I forgot to say, but I really think EMDR is going to be right for me in the future. I'm not sure how much talk therapy is actually going to be, but EMDR really feels right to me. Yeah, I did a year of talk therapy and didn't make very much progress until I started doing EMDR. But also, talk therapy can be helpful. Like, it just, I think you have to have the right therapist that you really mesh with that can communicate things to you in a way that helps. Because I do a combination of talk therapy and EMDR. And it's very, it's been very, very helpful to me. New people have no idea who you are. You can be anyone. Yeah, you can be anyone. I just imagine, like, how awesome and confident and, like, badass I am when I'm out there. And I'm like, if that's how I feel, that's how I project myself to the world. That's how other people are going to see me, and it's true. You started chatting up cashiers. I knew I'd never see the same one again. I never go places where there are cashiers. Well, maybe to the, I guess I'm going to the grocery store, so that's not true. I'm going to the grocery store. <laughs> but I rarely go to the grocery store. Okay, y'all. Yeah, I got to wrap up today's vlog because I've got to go take my meds and I've got to get down to the grocery store and finish my vlog and get my Sims video published. Um, when talking to cashiers didn't backfire into a depressing spiral of shame, it just built up your confidence. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You just have to start doing things. That's what I did. I just started going places I was already familiar with and that built up my confidence for me to start going places I wasn't familiar with. And now I'm about to do the restaurant thing. So I'm just going to keep going. Self-checkout all the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah, so I'm going to wrap up today. Thank you so much for joining me for another coffee chat. I really enjoy these little talks with you guys. And if you're watching this back on YouTube and you would like to join us for our little weekly coffee chats, uh, make sure to click the button down below and become a member. I'm also doing weekly members only live streams. Um, so I've got two of them out so far that you will have instant access to and then another one coming next week. And thank you guys so much for your support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you very soon with another video. All right. Bye, guys. If I can figure out how to end the stream. If I can figure out how to end the stream, I will end the stream. I promise. There it is. End stream. Bye.